What up, everybody? You're now tuned into Candid Conversations. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley. Back today with another live stream, man. <sighs> I do this because it's therapeutic, y'all. This, this, this really feels good to get on here and be able to, you know, speak my mind and not be censored and, you know, not speak the way those uh, want me to speak or trying to um, kowtow to people's feelings or their agendas or moral beliefs or whatever. No, this right. is me. And anybody who come on here with me, I'm allowed them to do the same thing because I don't care about I don't necessarily have a problem with you saying what you want to say, but I will defend your right to be able to say it all day long. You know, there's a quote that we can start this out with. And um, it says, when you tear out a man's tongue, you are not proving him a liar. You're only telling the world that you fear what he might say. And I saw that quote going around after they. uh ban pretty much Donald Trump on every uh, platform. And I said, that makes total sense. I said, it's him today and it's you and me tomorrow. So everybody clapping and cheering, whatever. But that, that I, I didn't cheer for that because there have been problematic people before. I mean, dude, the KKK, David Duke, who's head of the KKK, has a Twitter. And he's been able to say whatever he wants and go on whatever tours he wants. He's been speaking at colleges. Nobody said a thing. That's that man's right. But now you got Trump comes along. Oh, it's the worst thing in the world. Trust me, it's more problematic people that they could have aimed that towards. But we know what the agenda is, man. Right, right. Yeah, man. To me, man, um, I heard Shia LaBeouf. I, I love it. He's one of my favorite actors, man. Um, he said, man, transparency is the new punk rock. And um, he said, it's yeah. A, you know, he was he was talking. They got this uh, this actors thing, man. You know, I, that um, he was actually speaking on. He was like, man, you know, transparency is a very attractive thing to those who are open minded. You know, they censored me off of a older lady who she was agreeing with what some of the things I was saying, but then she said, "You're." Um, you're down in our people or, or you, you're talking down our people. I said, first of all, and I didn't acknowledge her. I actually, actually posted something about her in the FIMP group. So, um, and for you guys don't know what the FIMP group, that's for imperfect non-judgmental people group, people. Um, something I actually started um, in remembrance of my mother who passed away in December, 2018. But she was saying, Pretty much where, you know, I, you know, you know, some of your, you, I agree with some of your content, but some of your content, you know, your content, content is foul or whatever, you know. So I'm, I'm looking at it, and I, I don't never. All I said is that you're entitled to your opinion. Have a nice day. That, that was, that was it. I don't get into, yeah. you know, debates and arguing with people, especially when it comes to truth. And um, if I have to. When it comes to being 100 percent transparent and and the reason i'm not going back down because it took me a long time to get here and what people yeah. sometimes people don't understand they don't understand your journey they don't understand who you used to be they don't understand you know because I, i'll be the first to admit it and i'm not i'm not being trans please don't get it misconstrued people and please don't get please don't get it twisted i'm not being transparent to get likes to get support for the yeah. people. I'm being transparent for me. So these are changes that I made that my eyes were open once my mom passed away and I, I just started seeing things for basically for what they are. So I was just like, you know what, Sean, you just, you know what, just be 100% transparent. And that's, and, and that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. But in being transparent, you're not going to be the most popular person you're not going to not everybody's going to like you not everybody's going to support you people are going to depict you as a certain way they're going to label you they you know they're going to they're going to have all different types yeah. of things just because you're being truthful i posted something that that a lie can catch a ride with anybody but the truth stands alone and the problem with that is the big problem with that is in our whole society they want people to be honest, but not that honest. I want you to be transparent, but not that transparent. So <laughs> if you have to censor people 
for being 100% transparent, censor me. I'm not yeah. going to stop talking. I'm not going to tell you things that you want to hear. Because the truth, the thing about the truth for most people is not sexy. It ain't sexy. I can lie and mm -hmm. tell you anything. I mean, we could go as far as, hey, baby, how I look in that dress? Oh, you look phenomenal. Oh, baby, do I look fat in that dress? No, baby, you look perfect. You are just, it, 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 the, the whole world, it's a, it's a huge catch 22, B. It's a huge yes. catch 22. Now, if we're going to be honest and we're going to talk about it, let's be honest about everything. Let's, let's totally be honest. Like I, like I said, I lied for years to appease people, protect their feelings, protect them from getting physically hurt, to, to keep them out of harm's way. I did it for some good reasons, safety reasons, and then I did it to, you know, pretty much selfish too. But the bottom line is this. When you tell people a lie, they mad, you tell them the truth, they mad. You can't please people, so I'm done with that. You can accept my truth, or you cannot accept my truth. I'm not gonna lose no sleep over. That's yeah. just where I'm at. But I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not going to water my truth down to make you feel better. Yeah. Oh yeah. This has been an ongoing thing. I think for probably the last forty years or so, when the woke brigade started to gain its legs and sensitivity jumped in the pool somehow I, don't, I mean i don't know where it's coming from i know my generation is kind of where it is the millennials because we we were the we are the participation trophy award kids you know people had a big it was a big thing going around on the internet a couple years ago where everybody was talking about participation trophies and if you know people should be given participation trophies and you had those on one side saying that no whoever's the best gets the trophy everybody else Hey, strive to be better than the person who won the trophy this year. Other right. people on the side were, well, we don't, we want to encourage those to compete and, you know, basically giving everybody a trophy. Okay, cool. Regardless of how you felt about it, I mean, I'm not going to cancel you, have a problem. Okay, you feel like they should. I feel like they shouldn't. It shouldn't matter. But because though you had those people who didn't see the need in giving everybody a trophy because they participated, it was an issue. Why? Why is that an issue? Why? James Harrison played for the Steelers. Um, he talked about it. He said, my sons, he said, I'm raising killers. He said, I'm, we're not giving our participation trophies. His son had got one, um, and he posted on the internet him throwing it in the garbage. He said, no, you want you want defensive player, um, MV, you want defensive MVP, not a participation trophy. That's what you want. You want offensive MVP. That's what you want. You want best DB. You want best linebacker. You Those are the trophies that you want. Those, these right here? What? Yeah, why? Oh, because you showed up. No, and people had a problem with that, and I'm like, why? why? Why would you have an issue with that? Why would you have? It's a different mentality. James Harrison didn't get to where he is today, who still looks like he will knock the slob out of you by um, by having the mentality that you know um, I'm, I'm just going to take this participation trophy. I'm just going to take this little bit of money that I've gotten from the Steelers or the Ravens, or because he said he was cut like four times. So what if he had took the money as a pseudo participation trophy? Everybody get paid. Just took that and rested on his laurels. He'd just be a linebacker that floated around the league. We wouldn't be talking about him right now in the segment if he had that type of mentality. It got him to where he is. So why is it an issue? But that's the that's the sign of the times that we end today, man. Yeah, man. Everything is, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't say nothing without people getting all bent out of shape. Yeah. It's like the whole world is just have in a in a Dave Chappelle said it not Dave Chappelle said it best. Some people got problems with Dave Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle because yeah. he holds nothing back. Yeah. I gravitate toward people who hold nothing back. The world wants you to be fake. It wants you to walk around on eggshells. It does. The world is really. It was so bad. And what, my mom called the world the blind leading the stupid. 
and I, it, it, the blind leading is stupid. It, it's, it's so big and, and, and it's so loud. It's like the blind leading is stupid as far as society in the world is so loud in my ears, man. It, it is so loud in my ears because you see it every day. And it's like yeah. you, got the, you got the blind at the top and you got the stupid, which is society, and the stupid is following the blind. You're going, you, and nobody knows what they're doing. But the whole thing about the truth, though, I mean, yeah. the, the, I thought the truth set set you free. I mean, the truth. I'm like, I can't understand how the truth is offensive, how it's looked at as malicious, mean. I'm like, but it's the, but it's the truth. So you want me to walk around? The world basically wants you to walk around, tell people what they want to hear. They want you to be fake. Yeah. The, our whole world is fake, B. Our whole, whole thing. entire world is fake as the day is long. It's so fake, man. It's mm-hmm. so it's it's so fake to it's annoying. That's how fake the world is. Yeah. So Dave Chappelle, and I'm gonna quote it. So so y'all, if your ears are brittle, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and apologize. You know, let me go ahead and say, with all due respect, I'm sorry right now. But in the world, of, in the um, these are the exact words he said. He said, "You know what?" As he took a sip of his, you know, he took a puff of his cigarette. He said, "You know, you can't say nothing no more." You know, the world, the ears of the world is so brittle, brittle, yeah. brittle. Yeah. He say, "The world is turned in. It's just like the world is like." A bunch of bitch ass niggas. And that's exactly yeah. what the world is. And that's, that's exactly, exactly what, what he you said. Are. That's exactly mm-hmm. what you are. If you get mad at the truth, you a bitch ass. To me, in my book, you just, that's what yeah. you are. Because yeah. you want me to tell you something to save your feelings, to, to, mm-hmm. to, to keep you from getting your feelings hurt. Mm-hmm. You'd rather me lie to you and then tell you the truth. Wow, that's where we at. Yeah. And 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 B, it's in every facet. Every fact. I, I can't stand when people's like, oh, I want something real. I'm not, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't, you don't want nothing real. You don't no. want nothing real. You don't want nothing transparent. You don't want nothing true. You don't want no. nothing raw. You want to hear exactly what you want to hear. Yep. That's exactly it. I had a conversation with a friend today. And we was talking about, I said, listen, I done been, I done been so many different places around the world. Can't lie about it. And I said, now, <laughs> now this is going to ruffle some feathers. Well, well, whatever. That's what I do. That, that's, that's what Sean does these days. So, so I said, some of the most beautiful people I've seen have been in different countries. And I said, here's the thing. You can line 10 good looking people up right now. I'm, if they not good looking, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to mm-hmm. take out the ones that are good looking. And if it may be one and the rest nine are just average and the rest nine is just average. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you people. Yeah. But that's where we are as a society. They want everybody to get participation trophies. Yeah, and, and all inclusive. Haven't even mm-hmm. earned it. Haven't even earned it. That's what we are yeah. in sports. This is sports, man. Yeah, don't have it. yeah. <laughs> like, like if you think about it. Like, um, Lizzo. Take Lizzo for example. And this is not to crap on her or come down on her, but I understand what she's doing now. You know, she just was went viral because some people were making comments about her on um, one of her posts or whatever. People saying stuff about her weight, like they made the jokes about her talking about she crowd surfed and killed some people because she jumped in the crowd because how big she is, you know, stuff like that. They were making jokes or whatever and then talking about her. But she got on the internet crying and talking about you know how it hurt her feelings and all of that. And then towards the end of the whole thing, was she crocodile tears? I might add, because I watched it. I'm like, she ain't even really crying. She talking about, well, you could suck my pee from the back. And I was like, oh, see, I said, see that right there. That right there, you're not, you're not, you're not upset. 
No. You're not depressed. No. It, come on now. Like, no. Now, I know we know what you're doing now. She goes viral more for her antics than her music. Because I told you, the young people especially have figured it out. The older generation just getting on to it. But the young people understand it's not about who's the best. It's not about who's talented. It's about who's popular. Who's popular? That's what it's about. Who can get the most clicks? There's no way in the world Takashi 69 should be relevant at all. At all. The day he gets out of jail, he goes on the IG Live and breaks the record for live viewers with 2 million viewers. Bam, there it is. There it is. He dropped trash music all the time. That music do numbers. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it do numbers. It's because he's popular. That's all that the art is gone, man. It's about popularity now. You right. it's a you, you know, you know how they lost all the you know it's not about the art. Lizzo went to that Lakers game with her butt out. It ain't about the art no more now. Mm -mm. We in clown world now. I told to tell you that all the time. Right. We're in the bizarro world now. That's where that's where we're at. But yet, if I say something about Lizzo having a butt out where the family function where children are, it's a problem. It's a problem, man. Right. Now I'm censoring her. Why I'm policing black women's bodies and all of that. No, ma'am, there are children here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You always talk about them over sexualizing our especially our black girls. Right. But you got your butt out at the Lakers game, man. Come on, dog. Man. That's but that's that's where we are. This is where we are. <laughs> yeah, man. It's all it's it's all about popularity, man. That's exactly uh where we are as a society, man. It's not it's 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 not about the art at all when it comes to music man but i but b that's been going we we know that <laughs> we we know yeah. that we, we know that because you know you think of some of the music that's out today it's, it's good it's straight trash yeah it, the, the art has actually gone and the artists that really we got good music from they gone or they didn't pretty much retire from even making music pretty much so but yeah but man, yeah, man, everything is about what's popular, man. You know, yeah. That's just that's just the way it is, man. But yeah. I know one thing. I'm not I'm not dying telling nobody what they hear or I'm I'm what they want to hear, and I'm not gonna be an enabler. So you either gonna like me, love me, or hate me, man. But I'm giving yeah. you all that smoke with that truth. So it, it is what yeah. it is. You know, and see, my thing is, the big man upstairs. No, I'm not coming at nobody in a malicious way. Yeah. No, I'm not. You see, there's a there's a difference in telling the truth, but there's a difference in being malicious with it. So mm -hmm. some people don't know how to differentiate the difference. If somebody's telling, if you ask somebody a question, you want an honest answer. Don't ask them the question. But if you want, if you want the honest answer of the question, be man enough or woman enough to be able to to, to, to handle what's going to be given to you. I mean, mm -hmm. if we gonna be transparent and honest and oh yeah, I want you know the real and all this, then we should be able to handle each other's truth without getting so easily offended. I don't understand where the easily offended thing came from. I really don't know where it actually started. Yeah, you know. I think the truth is, the truth can be comical. It can be extremely, it can just be extremely funny. The truth can be enlightening. The truth can be helpful, resourceful. Um, people not get, they they looking at such the downsides of the truth instead of the upside yep. of the truth and how, how much beneficial it can be with people, man, in their own individual lives. You know, if, if you know, if my woman asked me, do I look fat in this dress? And if she looked fat in this dress, I'm like, well, yeah, babe. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You 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 asked me. You mm -hmm. asked me, do I look fat in this dress? And then, and if you do look fat in that dress, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you look fat in that dress. Yeah. You know, because it's a it's a catch twenty two, Sean. With yeah, that, it, because it's, it, 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 it's, it it always is a catch twenty two. Yeah. With with that, you know what, B. <laughs> I'm a good dude, so I don't give a damn about the catch twenty two. You, you right? You deal with it. You deal. With Either it. way, Either, Either way, way, you're gonna I hate me. So don't you know? But I might as well give you the truth. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be fake. 
by just giving you a, a, a bunch of lies. I'm like, you know, no, no, man, I, I, I've done that too much in my life. I can't do that no more. Did it too long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And and then when on, on top of that, there, there's the sensitivity. But think about censor, censorship. Right. And where we're going now, where the Internet, I seen somebody posted and they said the Internet seems like a much smaller place today than it did you know say just 10 years ago and then before that you know it just it seemed the world wide web that's truly what it was like but now it seems to have shrunk because now everything has come to online just about you're not going to meet any anybody any company any business uh organization um somehow some way they have something online about it today right. it's rare that you're going to come across something that doesn't have anything online about it so now, now that you have so many people online, it's becoming a much smaller place. And so now the policing has taken place about what you can and cannot say. You know, they want to police people and stop them from saying certain things. They feel like if it's harmful or you have an agenda. But the problem with censorship and policing is that those who want to police you, just like Facebook, they're going to do it. They only do it for certain groups or to uh for their agenda if you really think about it like they don't censor everything that's problematic case in point you got the manosphere where you got a a bunch of male content creators whether they they talk about the mgtows the men going their own way they talk about the red pill uh the pickup artists teach how to pick up women Um, you got the guys who um they talk about self-improving yourself you have the manosphere but they get shadow banned and some of their channels uh, get strikes, get taken down for the things they may say about women, whether it's harsh or whether it's just the truth and they don't like it versus you got a lot of female content creators that they're still and they, their guys get demonetized and they can't make money off their channels because of the things, some of the things they say. But on the flip side, you have women who they teach women how to finesse dudes like straight up. They teach women how to fake pregnancy tests. Um, they teach uh, women all, all kind of crazy stuff about dudes. They talk bad about guys. They pretty much uh, miss, miss Andrews. They just pretty much hate dudes, and they just talk about dudes all day, how much they hate them. And they still get money. They're not shadow banned. Their channels are promoted. And you're like, hmm. I say this is the censorship is one-sided, <laughs> especially when it comes to that. Right. You know, just like off your post alone. Right. When you you got um, strike from Facebook, mm-hmm. and you said um, the comment um, you said even Hitler had followers, right? Or had had a million followers, something like that, right. and they right. got you on that from a year ago, right? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Right? Why? But is that to satisfy the Jewish community? Is is is, is that is that the case? They came out with stop Asian hate. Asians hadn't faced hate in this country like that, but they showed did the stop Asian hate. They they got a bag, and then now you ain't heard no more about it, have you? Nope. Did did Asians just stop getting beat up in the streets all of a sudden? Probably not. If they were getting beat up in the streets, nothing that the government mandated was going to stop people from beating them up in the streets. Right. So mm-hmm. what what are we doing, man? <laughs> man, B, man, I, I'm. This, this whole thing, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, it's 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 so uh, it's so aggravating, man. Is you you it's like you can't now. The world don't even want you to be yourself. Right about it. Think about it, people. Are you truly your set? Your your no. Are you truly your authentic self on a daily basis? Do you really say what's on your mind on a daily basis or do you choke it off because it's not politically correct or it's not something that's popular or you worrying about losing your job or whatever the case may be? You really, you know, I mean, I, I get the whole job thing. There's certain things that you you, go, you gotta bite your tongue yeah. with or whatnot. I mean, there's certain rules that are in place or whatever, I get that. But in your normal life, your personal life, okay, stuff that's, you know, you're not uh, in danger of 
losing something because you actually speak your mind. Would you rather have someone to really be real, like y'all say, oh, I want some real, I want some real. Would you really want someone to speak their mind or to pretty much tell you what you want to hear? That's where it gets down to. I mean, yeah. because if the truth is that offensive to you, maybe you got a question to ask yourself, are you fake? Yep. Do you want to be, uh, you want people to pacify you, or to appease you? I mean, that's a question everybody has to ask, ask themselves, man. I want the truth because to me, criticism is not a bad thing to me. I love criticism because what it's going to do is just going to help me better me. Yes. So, I mean, if and and if, if I'm the perfectionist the one, like I am, Please give me all that smoke of that truth because I'm not going to get in my feelings and get sensitive about it. I'm going to correct it and I'm going to be better from it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take it personal because every person has a right of their opinion. Now, if we can't speak what I, if we really can't speak our minds or, or speak our truth, man, what about that now? Now, what about our constitutional rights? Yep. I thought freedom of speech. Now you have no freedom of speech. Darn near. Basically. Your freedom of speech, your freedom of speech is being criticized and questioned, analyzed. <laughs> man, I can go on and on. Yeah, I'll let you take it from there, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, freedom isn't free anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think that people's concept of free and their definition of free has changed over the years. True freedom to me is a financial freedom, a the freedom to be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it, and to be debt free. Those things are, are free. Um, working for yourself, that is free. Not being a wage slave, people call that freedom. Hey, women call that liberation, being able to go um, into the workforce and get out of the kitchen being barefoot and pregnant, and they called it freedom. Actually, no, it's not freedom. You were freer when you were in the kitchen because you're no you're a wage slave now. Or or if you're not a wage slave, you're not out getting a job and working, um, you're a slave to the government. I mean, right. That's just that's what it is. So when you given when you giving people power over you, they're they're able to do this. They're able to do this. This face that's Facebook's platform. Facebook can censor pretty much what they want to censor. There's not much we can do about it. We could push back against it, but it's not much we could do about it. It's the same with any platform. Is their rules, their regulations, and the way the but the people are not powerless. You you are never ever powerless because you have a vote, and your vote counts. Unlike um, our prior elections, sometimes our votes actually count in this way. You vote with your wallet and you vote with your feet. That's what you do. Yeah. You don't like the platform? Okay. Stop using it. Don't put right. any money towards it. Go somewhere else. Start your own. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really that simple. It's exactly. really that simple. Right. That The powers that be have no leg to stand on when you take your focus and attention away from whatever that is. Because they have to follow you. You're the one. You We're the cash cows. We're the ones with the money in the pocket that pay into the system. Without us, without the average everyday working man paying into the system, none of this moves at all. At all. If the working class decide to stop working, we in trouble because none of this moves without them. And people have to realize that we have much more power than you think we have. But people love to follow. So people are always going to they're going to go whatever's trendy, you know, whatever's trendy. So like the baby, the baby got canceled. And I always I'm on the record. Cancel culture doesn't work. Doesn't work. Mm -mm. It makes actually makes the person more popular. I, I've always said that because once he, you know, once he got in trouble and everybody was talking about him, he went viral for the things he said when he was on stage and rolling loud. People who didn't know who he was wanted to know who he was. OK, who's this rapper they're canceling, honey? Oh, I don't know. I think he has a few songs that um, our daughters listen to. And boom, they go listen to the music like, oh, man, I really like his music. Fan. So how does cancel culture actually cancel people? Now, they cancel some of his um, his performances 
he won't be able to perform in certain places. But that's only going to be short lived because it's going to be somebody else. And I find it ironic that they have an issue with what he said because he said some things about HIV and AIDS and the LGBTQIA community, uh, how many letters they have now, uh, the alphabet community. And they have an issue with what he said about them. But in his lyrics, he already talked about killing people. He's talking about he's talking sexually explicit things with your, your wife, your, your mom, your daughter, your auntie, your whoever. Um, he's talking about uh, selling drugs to his community. He's talked about all types of things. And no one said a thing about that before. But as soon as he says something about a certain set of people or something like that or around it or imply it or something like that, it's a problem. He's bad. Cancel him. Take his opportunities away. Take his sponsorships away because he said this. And no, that's not how it works. That's not how it should be. And anybody who champions that, just wait. Your time is coming. It always it, 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 get, it happens. It's going to happen to everybody because no matter what, you're going to have an opinion that other people don't like. Right. Exactly. It's going to happen. It's going to be a staunch opinion too. You're going to be like, no, nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the case. And then uh, it's, it's going to be your turn to be canceled. Then, then you're going to see what all the hype is about. But people don't see. People can't see that. People can't see that for whatever reason, Sean. They can't see it. And you know, I understand because most people are sheep. Most oh, yeah. people are sheep. Followers, man. Yeah. They followers, man. And I'm I'm so glad my mom raised me at a. My grandmother beat it into me. My aunt beat it into me. My mom beat it into me. So do not be a follower. Set your own path. They was telling me that as a kid when I couldn't even freaking understand it. Yeah. But it really, it really kicked in when I became a teenager, and it really, really kicked in when uh, you know I became an adult. Man, I always went by the beat of my own drum, no matter if it, if people didn't understand it, man. You know. And you know, a lot of people don't understand me. They don't understand my thought process. They don't understand my way of thinking. Um, but you know, uh, you know, it, it hasn't always been that way. But when you change, man, and you see, you go against the grain. You know, I mean, listen, man. Even a good book say, man, be not transformed or conformed to the witnesses. Man, man, I go on and on, bro. Yeah, the man upstairs pretty much say, hey. Follow your own lead, man. Don't 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 follow these fools, man. It's in yeah. the B-I-B-L-E. And y'all, you listen, man. If the big man upstairs is telling y'all not to follow these fools, y'all fools still following these fools. Again, the blind leading the stupid. If you are a part of that percentage of the stupid, please get off that stupid bus. Me, me yeah. get off that stupid bus, please. You will thank me for getting off that stupid bus. Touch that stupid driver on the on the shoulder and say, please let me off at the next stop. I'm done riding this damn stupid bus. That's the thing, man. And the big man's like, they don't conform or transform your mind to, oh man, y'all don't hear me, man. You tell you not to do it, but you do yep. it. Yep. And right now, if you falling behind society right now, I feel sorry for you, man. I feel yep. sorry for you because you're going to stay offended to me. <laughs> you are going to stay offended at me because, first of all, uh, I, I'm i not trying to hurt nobody. I'm just trying to give you that transparent truth. It ain't, It's not going to do nothing but help. I don't know why y'all get so offended when people tell y'all the truth. But, you know, to me, when I see people get, get a, I say, there you go. They go to stupid from the blind. There you go. All in their feelings. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. the truth, man. The, golly, man. Mm -hmm. So um, now I'm going to take this time of the segment to go in on a certain population of men. And you know these men, just like I know these men. Um, they have many names. Um, Mitches, uh, Simps. <laughs> Gumps, yeah, a gump is a new one. Um, uh, Sean. that's about that's they, a Baltimore term, brother. 
Uh, that, oh, yeah, that's a Baltimore term. Okay, because I, I hadn't, I hadn't heard it. I hadn't heard it, so guess, they started guess, using it. I guess it took a long time to get down to Florida. Yeah, Gump been going on for years, man. Okay, that's an old, right, so that's a Baltimore so, term. Sure. So Gump is Gump is old. Yeah, so Gump. um, they they do he talking about the Gumps because they brought up you know Forrest Gump and his affinity for Jenny. You, he's like the Gumps. <laughs> so. Go talk about them, man. Um, one of the reasons why this has caught fire is because of them. It's because of them. That's why you can't you know, I, you can't trust most people anyway. But I cannot trust the dude who's gonna throw me under the bus for a mediocre piece of tail. Like I just I, I can't do it. And that's a lot of guys, Sean. We know this. That's a lot of guys. If it came down to you and it came down to her, he's throwing you clean up under the short bus. Okay, and you never you never make yourself you never look good making trying to look, make another person look bad, especially another brother. Yeah. So what they did was they oh white knights that's another name white knights. So they always come into the defense and pretty much has helped women bolster this uh, sensitivity thing and everybody being sensitive because they've had the backing of these guys, and it's and it's it's not real backing. I don't think women really understand how these dudes really are. Like, man, ladies, you gotta really you gotta worry about them before you worry about a guy that's gonna tell you the truth. The guys that's gonna tell you exactly what you want to hear, we found out. Derek Jackson, you found out. The guy to tell you you want what you want to hear, some of the worst guys. Some of the worst guys, man. Because they're gonna tell they're gonna sell you a dream. They're gonna tell you exactly what you want to hear in order to get what they want. And they're not going to tell you the truth. But like you say, people, the truth. People that hate that they want the sweet lies, so it makes it look like these guys win. But at the end of the day, women they praise those dudes in public. Oh, he's such a good man, he's sticking up with women. But the dudes who they call misogynist and he's a woman hater, they reward him in private, if you know what I mean. Right? It took me a minute to find that out. I don't figure that out now. So the dude who they praise in the streets ain't the dude that they praise behind closed doors. Hmm. Mm. Why is that, dude? <laughs> Masculinity. Mm. Masculinity. A lot of those guys lack it, man. They lack it. They they've been we've been we've been defamed. We've been declawed. They got it to where pretty much everything being a man is a bad thing, and everything being a woman is a good thing. There's no balance to that. There's no balance, you know. Okay. And so guys want to go go all the way left. Men are more feminine now than they've ever been. Oh, yeah. That's why cancel culture took off. Once men became feminized, cancel culture, censorship, and sensitivity took off. Because women were always that way. Right. We weren't always that way. Two sides of the same coin. We had balance, right? So right. now that the men have become feminine and the women have become ma- more women have become masculine, now, I mean, the scale is lopsided now. Absolutely lopsided. Yeah, I mean, I started noticing it years ago. When men, when I, I, I remember growing up as a little boy, I never seen women do this. But as I got older, into manhood, I'm like, did she just go off in front of that dude, in front of all these people, like she was the dude, and he was the female, in public. I just saw that, Sean. I was at Waffle House. Sean, I saw... Hey, hey, listen to this. Game and change, though. So I'm in Waffle House. This was Saturday Saturday night. I'm in Waffle House. It was late. Hanging out with my buddy. And uh, I was like, man, I'm, I got I to get something to eat. I'm starving. So when he got some the some grits. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. I have some, some issues. So we're having trouble streaming to Twitch. Maybe an issue on Twitch is in. We'll let you know to re-add it. Okay, so my Twitch stream is acting up. So they must be having some issues on Twitch. So yeah, we're streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, Sean, if you didn't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm in I'm in Waffle House and I'm standing there waiting. When I walked up to the counter, they were busy. So the guy, you know, they busy going back and forth. And I waited probably about five to seven minutes tops, waiting for them to come get take my order. And so the guy noticed me. Or whatever, and they, they going back and forth, back and forth, and then finally he came and took my order. So I just sat there and patiently waited until he came to take my order because they were busy. So I'm sitting waiting um in the background. Lady comes in, guy comes in, 
black man, black woman. And I just hear her start it up. I was on the phone, but I hear her start it up with the guy uh, behind the counter. And she basically was talking about how, to my, oh, well, you ain't see me. You ain't acknowledge me. You ain't, I mean, the guy he looked at, her, looked at her, I'm sure he saw him, but they're busy. He's doing his job. But she had an issue because I guess he didn't come say anything to her or, or what. And she was making a big stink about it. And the guy that was with her, he's just standing by, not saying a word, just sitting there. And I, you know what I thought of? Beta, golly. I was like, there's no way in the world I'm going to be out with the woman and she embarrasses me like that. Because number one, it wasn't valid what she was going off about. That's where, that, at that moment, that's when you go like, hey, yo, baby, you got to chill. Uh-uh, cut that. I, I don't want to hear none. I don't want to hear none of that. Then if she go off, she got a problem with that. Boom. That's the end of that's the end of the relationship right there. I'm right. done. Right. Because you're not you're not right. going to do that to me. Leave her right there in Wild House. Yeah. I mean, and 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 please, um, mm -hmm. ladies, when I say this, this is a true story. My ex roommate years ago, I lived in Tampa. I had a I had a girlfriend that came from Canada to visit me. She showed her behind in public, literally showed her behind in public. She's from Canada now. I left her right where she was standing. I politely got in my car and left her right where she was standing. Reason being because I'm not the type of dude that's going to go back and forth with you in public. You know, no. I said what I said and I left her butt right there. Yep. Drove off. Didn't care how she got back. Because you 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 publicly disrespected me. In my defense, as a man, I got to show you who is that penis in that relationship when you do stupid stuff like that. Now I ain't gonna put my hands on you because Gwen raised me right. Yeah. But in some short, some form, some shape, I'm gonna let you know who carrying the big stick. Yeah. You gonna learn. You go, you oh yeah, you go, you will learn. You will learn. You got one time to disrespect me in public, and I promise you, I promise you, oh my mama, you will never disrespect me again. Period. Yep. But yeah, you yep. see that, you see that a lot. And I'll be like, man. Yeah. And guys just stand man. by. Long stay ever loved. I mean, I'm talking about loud, boisterous in mm -hmm. public. Not with two, three people. I'm talking about Walmart busy public. Mm -hmm. Man, what in the airport busy public? Rush hour traffic type. But I mean, busy. I'm like, man, I'm like. <laughs> and these guys just stand by. Stand there and look at. I said, oh my god. And when I'm looking at dudes. I'd be like, man, you don't even deserve a penis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, man, I, I, man. I feel the same way. Hey, suck, man. You gonna just stand there, man. <laughs> man, my mama be rolling around in her grave, man. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what that is, too, Sean? Do you know Bro, what that is, too? Sorry. Think about it. The majority of the time, they're gonna do that with guys they can do that with. Right. Women know if you don't have many options and you their best option. They figure that out really quickly. Mm. Figure it out really quickly. I like because they'll try you. That's why they test you. They'll try you. And if you put up with it, she like, hmm. Okay, I got me a um, I got me a Mitch right here. I got me a gump. I got me a simp. So uh yeah, let me go ahead and take advantage of this. They figure it out very quickly because they're constantly testing you. Yeah, and those guys stand by. So now we have guys who idly stand by while women act the fool. Oh, classic example. The Steelers game. Did you see that that young oh, brother? I just saw that this morning. I say, stop it. I say, <laughs> dog, Sean. They edited I say, in. She, oh, I mean, she hauled off and slapped that brother. That brother was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Matumbo, no, no, no. <laughs> Sean, they edited in the noise where your computer shut down. The da, 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 da. Cause dude, dude will sleep in the chair. Dude will sleep, and she was, she was in the guy's face. She talking, yapping, going off. 
Right. And she hit the, the, the guy. She put a hand on him and he slapped the hand away. She slapped him in the face. Slapped him smooth in the face. Right. And then nobody did anything. Nobody really jumped up when she slapped him. They just went, oh. But then as soon as he made a fist, yeah, as soon as he made a fist, everybody started to jump up. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are y'all jumping up now when it looked like he about to knock her smooth out? Now y'all want to get some fire in your feet. No, right. no, 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 no. Equal mm -hmm. rights gets equal less. Like, <laughs> come on, dog. Like, no. And so right. dude right. jump up because he told him. He said, hey, man, hey, could you please get your girl? Get your girl. Right. And so as soon as she did that, he jumped up. Dude deleted him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He Boy, he, he got the, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, got them hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they say, oh, boy, uh, he, he had the, uh, the power of five ancestors in those punches. <laughs> Boy, he got that two piece. Give me, God, give me a three piece and all the fries you can give me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, man. Old boy was like, uh. <laughs> hey, man. See, that's when keeping yeah. it real goes wrong. <laughs> that is. I guess she thought. I guess she thought that, you know. Ness, was, what's going on, Ness? I guess she thought since the climate of America that these women can just do what they want to do. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, the dude was, I, I am so shocked that he ain't put his hands on her. Yeah. He handled himself real, real good. But that, but your man got that business. <laughs> your man got that business, man. Hold on, I'm trying to look up, look up the video. I, I thought I was still on my Twitter. Yo, I got, I got to connect I, back to my Twitter. I, I strongly suggest, and this is me speaking my transparent truth. Your man need to take some boxing classes. <laughs> Yeah. I told y'all women being out there with them dudes who can't who can't protect you know. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he got he 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 got a nice car, he got he got a house, and he got all this money, but he can't protect you, baby. Men are supposed to be protectors and providers. I don't know yep. what you got. You may got a provider, but you sure as hell ain't got no protection. <laughs> so sure don't. All right, here you go right here. I found it. Stop I found on. it. <laughs> mm hmm. Wallop. Mm. Yep. Block. He's sleep. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Let's go say ducking should be his first lesson. Yo, watch for the overhand right. Don't they teach that? That's one of the first things they teach. Man, you should have been bobbing and weaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, boy, y'all women, yep. boy, women out there, I women, I hope y'all please got at least with women. If you got a man, I hope you got a man that can protect you. Please, yeah. I hope you got a man that you can protect you. Because if you want, you running off at that mouth. <laughs> Don't get your man in that situation. Please don't yeah. do it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh Lord, man, God. man, that was like, man, that was like a cobra <laughs> fighting against a mouse. That's what that was like, man. Dude, dude was not ready for that. He's not about that life. And I guarantee you, Sean, that's not the first time she's done that. Yeah. Wow. She's done that all. She probably does it often, but it's because of guys like that. Why they feel in, they feel empowered? They right. feel empowered. They just get this 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 air about them. That's why you have women who four foot eleven yelling at offensive line. Man, this man is paid to pancake people in the clutch. Why right. are you talking trash to him? Right, right. I see. I see him be talking trash. I'll be like, man. Now a lot, a lot of women do that because they know that dude. If he do something. You know, he gets some serious trouble over it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 
boy to haul off and just slap a dude, man. Yeah. Boy, you you got some guts and a death wish, but you know. Hey, man. And they say he better be able to protect you and show you where the exit is. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we have them happy feet running up out of that joint, man. Man, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Wow. Wow, man. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That's like one of my one of my favorite comedians, uh, Tony Roberts. Tell me he was on the train. He told my dude and yet this lady start arguing, and the dude stopped throwing haymakers at her. And he while he throwing the haymakers, she she looking at him. He told me I act like I was asleep. Like, mm, now nah, you better duck, baby. You better duck. I can't, I can't help you, baby. I'm sorry, I can't help you. There's nothing I can do to help you. You gotta duck. You gotta duck. Because <laughs> hey, because hey, hey, like hey, Kevin Hart said it. If he hits you in the face, I know he don't care nothing about mine. <laughs> Oh, Kevin, yo, Kevin said, hey, hey, you know what? Look here, I ain't fighting. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, Kevin said, he yeah, ain't fighting, man. Yeah, hey, man, y'all better, hey, y'all better, hey, man, you know, I know y'all got credentials and stuff, and y'all got uh, certain requirements y'all want this man to have. Y'all be, you better be at, trying to find if you got some hands. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you put that? On your uh, list of requirements, lady, make sure. Uh, duh, yeah. Do you have some hands? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, what they want, they talking about six feet tall, six <laughs> figures in the bank, six pack abs, six car garage, six six house mansion. That's what they want. Um, uh, does he have? Does he have hands, though, man? Does he have? Hands? Does he have hands? Out of paper bag, man. Boy, look here, boy. All right, ladies, man, y'all. Ladies, I'm gonna need y'all to do better. I'm gonna need y'all to yeah. do better. That apartment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I was talking to a young lady, and even she recognized this as a young lady. When it comes to the guys, um, especially in the black community, where you got the pseudo thugs, the guys who the pookies and the ray rays, the drug dealers, the gang bangers, the ones who permeate that type of image or whatever. Right. Yeah, and you would agree with this. Most of those guys are pretenders. Oh, yeah, yeah. Overwhelming majority of those guys are pretenders. Right. They right. saw some gangster life stuff in the hood on TV right. or right. saw some rappers emulating it and then they emulated it. But those real guys who are really about that life are very few. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they, let's not make it seem like they're in droves. Now, you got guys who would do some stupid stuff. Yeah, you would. But on major overwhelming majority of them, if you challenge them when they challenge you, they're going to back down. Overwhelming majority of them. You got the ones who are about their life and they'll do something stupid. But for the most part, majority of them, they're just pretenders because they've seen what that lifestyle brings. They've seen how women react to guys who are like that. Right. It's that fake faux masculinity. There's right. nothing real about that, man. There's nothing. nothing real about it at all. Nothing, man. You know, I was, talking, yeah. I was talking to some young guys. Um, I was training. It was like about, about two years ago, man. And, you know, and so I was after the training session. I was I was sitting down. I, I was I was showing them some like wounds on my legs, and you know, just telling them stories. I said, "Man, have you ever been in a situation? And it's a real life situation. And you had two choices. And I say, listen to me, young guys. I said, where you where you where you from? No, um, I live out in Bartram. I said, where you live? Oh, I live over there um, <clears throat> close to Bartram. Where you live? I said, okay, man, you suburb boys. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all, su su suburb boys. Y'all softer than stove bought cotton. I said, man, listen, when you get in one of those real life situations, you can't, you either, you either tough or you bitching up. Yeah. And I said, being tough, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. It's something you are pretty much. I said, listen, man, I'm from the projects, bro. And I done been locked up and I done been in situations where you got one or two choices. Yep. I say, y'all. Y'all are y'all are teenagers 
pretending to be tough, man. And I said, man, don't get exposed. Be who you are. You ain't them. You, 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 you're not, you're not built that way. I tell it to my son. I tell yeah. it to my son. I, I love my son to death. But I said, but buddy, you softer than stuff I got. <laughs> he said, oh, you better be fast, Nesco. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I said, I said, yeah. I said, I said, I said, you my son, but you ain't built like me. Right. There's, a, there's an extinct difference. You mm -hmm. my son, you not built like me. And you done seen your daddy go crazy. Yeah. On somebody. You've 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 seen it with your own eyes. You know, your dad is saying, but he got a little crazy up in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got a look, he got a look, he got a little crazy up in him. Because with me, and i I work on it as much as I can on a daily basis. When you take <clears throat> me there, I'm liable to mess up everything, man. And I'm just being hundred percent honest. When you push me that far, I'm liable to mess up everything and just people just looking at me like, Sean, come on, man. But that's just how I'm, that's just how I'm built. I'm working on it. I, I say all the time, I'm a work in progress. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But if you put me in a situation, man, I'm. All I can say is afterwards, I'm sorry. That's all I got. That's all I got. You, you will get an apology, and I'm sorry afterwards. But you took it there. Yeah. I'm going to try to defuse it. But when you take me there, man, and hey, man, all I can do is say I'm sorry afterwards, man. You can't. And, and you right, Lee, man. You got these dudes out here pretending, man. They, 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 they pretending to be tough, man. Dude, tough is just... a. Tough is something that's authenticated. It's not fake. Yeah. It's not replicated. It's a real thing. That person has went through real, you have to go through real life tough issues, life or death situations to become an authentic tough dude. You have to yeah. live through that. That's not something you can pretend. And mm -hmm. you know, and it ain't something you would brag on. You know what I'm saying? If I could have been born in the suburbs, I would have chose the suburb life than the life I was born into. To be perfectly honest with you, but you know, hey man, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why they want to. They think that life is so great. Born in a yeah. project is so great. In and out of jails is so great. Being in the hood, I'm like, dude, come. I don't make I, you real. I don't, get, I don't get that, Brandon. I don't get that. Yeah. I never have. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make you real. And that's going to say going to jail is an eye opener. When you get behind those bars, you realize quickly that you either have it or you don't. Oh, yeah, you find out Ooh, really quick. Right there, Ness. Right there, Ness. That boy just spoke gospel right there. That's the truth, man. That's the that's truth. truth. That's true. That is the truth, man, because I have seen so many men bitch up in there. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, I mean, that's a real thing, man. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that thing real, boy. That thing real. Yeah. And yeah. the, the loudest dude in the room, 99.9 .9 cent is the softest dude in the room. Yeah. You, yeah. That. Yeah, that's like when guys are like, oh, 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 I'm from Chicago. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm from Detroit. <laughs> I'm from the Ville. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> you still bleed red, man. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Like that. that doesn't mean anything, man. Where you from? That doesn't mean. It. Yeah, I'm from Bronx. I'm from Marcy Project, son. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> what you What you want me to say to that? I don't. Are we gonna fight? Or are you gonna keep talking? <laughs> like it's it, it's crazy, man. But that's that they go that goes with the sensitivity today. Right. Everybody's everybody want to be sensitive today. Man. That's what it goes to, dog. Is what it what it goes back to the sensitivity, mm. and the guys, the Mitches, the Gumps, and all those guys. Um, hold on, he said, "Hey, he said I was he man until a six foot ten dude came in my holding cell, and I became Shira." <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird cloud. Oh, oh my God! It's a cloud, man. Oh, you clowning now, Ness. But that's the truth, man. You gotta, you you gotta know, you gotta know your limits. 
And that's why the, these these this sensitive culture, when they face with the real, they can't handle it, man. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. And a lot of them been coddled, and you you taking men taking men out of the homes. I talk about it all the time. You took men out of the homes. The a sensitivity and censorship, all that it went, it went up. It went up. It went up. Now we just you just saw like they say stand up comedy is the last bastion for truth. Yeah, that's all we got, man. That's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got, man. And they, like you say, Dave Chappelle is one of the best. And I love Cat Williams. You talk about it all the time. He say brittle spirit. I remember I, I'll never forget that. He to my to my nobody told me all this time if you wanted to uh upset the white man, well, all you had to do was take a knee. <laughs> he talking about you get upset because a black football player taking a knee. That's a brittle spirit. That's a brittle spirit. It's a brittle spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was talking about uh Louis C.K. Um, and how he had the two lady comedians who said that he invited them up to the room and he asked to you know relieve himself in front of them, and he did. And then they talked about how he that pretty much ended there. He said, Oh, it ended my comedy career. He told me I could no longer pursue comedy after that, uh, or I could no longer pursue my dreams after that. It just wrecked my life. And he was like, That wrecked your life. You say that you got a brittle spirit then. It's like, because nothing was done to them. Nothing was done. And they agreed to come to the room and they agree. He said, Yeah, you do what you do. And now they're saying that, oh no, it was it was terrible. It was this. That's a brittle spirit. So right. you didn't become a comedian because of Louis C.K. <laughs> right. That's a brittle spirit, man. That's crazy, man. That... <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, ain't even, I don't even know what to say about that one, man. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, like, I like Dave Chappelle out there. He said, he said, you really want to get him. He said, I'm going to wait until the Super Bowl. And then uh, at halftime, uh, not at halftime, but right when they're getting ready to sing the national anthem, walk O.J. Simpson out onto the 50-yard line and make him take a knee. <laughs> oh! oh, man. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Boy, they would lose their minds. They would lose OJ Simpson take a knee during oh the national anthem God. on the 50 yard oh. line at the Super Bowl. My God, man. My Especially God. now, because he's talking about he doesn't go to LA because he don't want to run into the real killer. Did you hear him say that? OJ said that? He was dead serious too. He said that. He said the reason he don't go to LA is because he don't want to run into the real killer. He said that. What? Yes, Sean. He said that. He <sighs> said that. I, I'm oh, telling you, he said it, Sean. Jones, come on. Orenthal, come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, yeah, he said that. Man. But of I course, got yeah. Minutes. I got about five minutes, B. Okay, we can wrap it up. But hey, you want to talk about sensitivity? Hey, uh, you, he don't care. He don't care. It's obvious he hasn't cared for a long time. Ever since he got he got out and he got back on Twitter, he spoke his mind ever since. And you know what he's gotten since then? Followers. It's people who've been following him. They people I follow his account. I, I look, dude, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> dude is hilarious, man. So what? he doesn't censor himself. He doesn't censor himself at all. He speaks his mind. Anything that's been um with his pop culture or anything like that, he speaks his mind on. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he got followers. He got followers, man. Last time I checked, he had like um, almost 100,000 followers. Probably more than that. Wow. OJ, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know. Because well, you listen to him talk. You listen Once you listen to him talk, you can see why people were enamored with him back in the day. And, you know, him acting and, you know, I mean, the dude, he was media. real charismatic. Charismatic, man. Charismatic. Yeah. Okay. Still is. Still is. He's just older now, so he sound he sound like my granddaddy. <laughs> he do. He sound like my granddaddy. He do. They he sound they sound very similar in their tone and their delivery. It's the same. Oh yeah, yeah. Those men are few and far in between today. That's why the sensitivity is the way it is because of men like that. Because he tell you what you what whatever like like my grandfather. My grandfather spoke his mind. He didn't care. So now that those guys are gone. Now you feel like anybody who says those things, oh, they're rude, that is, and you don't want people, uh, men, to be that way. 
But as you notice, since men are no longer that way, we uh, devolved into what we're into today. That's why we're here. That's where we're in this censorship and sensitive society is because those men, the patriarchs, who had no problem hurting your feelings at any given time, especially to tell you the truth, those men are now leaving and they're pretty much gone. And now that they're gone and nobody wants to listen to them, now it's the wild, wild west. That's what it's become. It's become the wild, wild west. Because believe it or not, like you say, the kids figure out who's popular. And how do you get popular? By going against the grain and saying things that's not popular, saying things that's going to make people who are sensitive get in their feelings and doing things that way. That's how you get popular now. Wow. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you're right, man. You're right. But America, look here, man. Ladies and gentlemen, who's ever tuning in. <clears throat> with, with without without true transparency, we we really don't have nothing but a fake society. Fake world. Yeah. Every, everything's fake. So if you really say you're a real person or you want something real, you got to make sure that you can accept it. You just can't say that you're real, but then when real's in front of you, you have a problem with it and it's ex and accepting it. You know, now are you, and then you have to, and everybody who's watching this or tuning in, you have to ask yourself this question. Are you conforming and transforming to the ways of the of society by mm -hmm. in you know just engaging in, in the whole sensitivity thing? Now I know, listen, most some people are some people are sensitive, some people are not that sensitive, some people are more sensitive than others. I, I get it. I, I get all of that. But the truth, if it comes to you. It's never coming at you in a malicious type way. It's coming at you in its truest form, and you're supposed to, your job is to, you got one or two choices. You can accept it or not accept it. But if you want 100% honesty and you're an honest person, I mean, it's, it's got to be received. Or maybe you need to answer yourself this question. Maybe you're not as honest or as transparent as you may proclaim that's my end thoughts yeah yeah man well we can end it right there um make sure y'all like share and subscribe and look here man hey, i understand mitch is written into your dna at the moment so yeah, fellas you don't have to be that way you could change today because trust me at one point i was simping it up hey i was simping it up hey hey buying i'm buying weaves and buying sandals for chicks I've done it. I've done it. I know you've done it. I've done it. Everybody's done those right, things. Right. But you don't have to continue to be that way, man. You don't have to stand idly by while your girl is yelling at food service workers and the people who's preparing your food, which is not smart anyway. These mm. people preparing your food, I suggest you talk nice to them. Mm. Right. That yeah. You don't have to be those guys, man. You can decide today, like, I don't have to take this. I ain't got to take this. So what? If you lose her, what have you really lost? Mm -hmm. It is what it is, man. But other than that, hey, speak how you ace. Say what you want to say because at the end of the day, they they're gonna they, if you hate, they're gonna hate you if you tell the lie, and they're gonna hate you if you tell the truth. You might as well go out telling the truth. That's right. Yeah. So hey, like, share, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. Follow Sean on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, FIMP group is on Facebook. Uh, for imperfect, non-judgmental people, right? Right. Yeah. So, hey, follow us. Hey, we'll be back. Sean, getting this, getting this podcast kicked up. We're gonna be, yeah, yeah we're gonna be in the lab cooking it up, man. We're gonna yeah. ready, ready. All right. Yeah, right. we about to get it in, man. So stay tuned for that, and we will be back with more videos for y'all, man. But until next time, we are out of here. Peace. Peace out.